hi guys welcome to another video so i've had a super super duper exciting parcel come today yes 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 so those of you that seen my instagram story you'll have seen that timu is now available in the uk and i've just received my order and at the minute guys they have got a massive massive sale on right now a lot of the items that I've got is between 44p and I think 98p most of the items huge sale and I'm gonna be honest I've already placed a second order as well I'm so naughty but the thing is when things are that cheap how can you not place an order and another thing six days this parcel took to arrive guys six days so i'm just going to start pulling bits out and show you what we've got i'll also like i normally do with my aliexpress hauls guys i shall pop a little picture in the bottom left hand screen of the price that i paid and you shall find all the links to everything that i've bought in my description box below let's get cracking shall we first thing is ooh, look at these beautiful butterflies let's get them out of the pack and have a proper look shall we These look really, really nice quality. So they're glass crystal butterflies. They are flat back as well, as you can see. Look how shiny they are. They're really, really nice quality. I like them. So they're like a really nice light pink colour, but then they shift to like a an orange and a silvery blue. They're beautiful. I really, really like them. Ooh, next thing is 10 grams of yellow iridescent glitter. Now, I was going through my glitter collection and I realised I didn't have a yellow. So I thought I'd pick this up. And for 44p, for 10 grams of glitter, I don't think you can really go wrong, do you? I'm not sure if that is 10 grams, but what I'll do is, guys, I shall weigh that when I finish recording and I shall leave a note on the screen to let you know if it weighed or not but for 44p does it really matter if it weighs 10 grams or not I don't think so it's a really nice fine glitter as well just what I needed we've got a stamping plate with all different like material patterns on it so I just wish these was a little bit bigger they're going to be all right for shorter nails, but if you're doing long nails, you're going to have to print it and then do another print after. That's a much nicer length, that one there, isn't it? It's a shame they're not all that length, really. There's some really nice ones on there. I can see me using this one a lot for Christmas and stuff. We've got, like, tartan print. We've got tooth hound. There's all sorts there, a smaller tooth hound pattern. Yeah, I really like those. Checkered print. Yeah, I like them. Then we've got a, another stamping plate. This one's really cool. Not got anything like this. So it says Full Beauty 06 and it's all different like under the sea designs. We've got like knots, we've got fish, starfish, jellyfish, seaweed, shells, more seaweed, seahorse, the word sea. I really, really like this one. That is really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Got an anchor. Dolphins. Oh, look at that little dolphin there, look. What is going on on the back of that dolphin? Oh, there's a monkey on its back, look. Not sure why there'd be a monkey on the back of a dolphin, but hey-ho. You can always cut that out if you don't really want the monkey on the back. Oh, I like this. Oh, I didn't see the crab. There's loads on here that I didn't see when I was buying it. Oh, a mermaid as well, look. Oh, yeah, I really, really like this. I do that a lot with stamping plates. I don't really notice half the things that are on it until I actually get it. Do you guys do that? So we've got some clear shaped crystals. And do you know what? All the crystals that I've got, and I haven't got any clear shapes. So I thought, at that price, I shall buy myself some clear shaped crystals and what we've got in here we've got squares ovals horse eyes stars 
rectangles, butterflies, diamonds. Yeah, there's a few moon. Is that a moon? Teardrop. Yeah, moon. Yeah, there's all sorts in there. And again, really nice quality. Super shiny. Definitely glass, which I'm really happy about. It did say they were glass, but I was a bit worried whether there was going to be resin when they turned up. But no, they are definitely glass. We've got some butterfly stickers. I went a little bit cray cray on butterfly stickers again. A bit like I did with my first sheen order. So these are JO2316. I love these. I love these half ones. I really like how colourful they are. Oh, look at these ones with the flowers on as well. They're pretty. Oh, they smell really nice as well. Yeah, I like them. And then we've got these ones. I like these because they've got the smaller ones like these. Oh, I like that one. And I like these ones as well. I really like them. Cute. I'm happy with them. Staying on the butterfly sticker theme, we've got a pack of, I think this is pack of five. So we've got WG362, and it's all these different colours. I like these teeny tiny pink ones. All the butterfly stickers that I've got, and I don't think I've got any teeny teeny weeny ones like that. I like them. We've got WG363. I like these white ones. They would look nice on a black nail or a really dark nail. Again, we've got these really teeny tiny ones. These blue ones are nice, like mid-flight butterflies. Pretty. WG365. These have got nice patterns on, haven't they? I like these really realistic ones. There's some more at the top there. I like that you've got the small ones to match the big ones. Blue, blue, red, red, yellow, yellow. Yeah, I like that. They're cute. This one is WG366. Again, loads of really teeny tiny ones. Look at that one there. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. And for just over a pound, guys, for five stickers, you really can't go wrong. These are alright, but they're a little bit a little bit light. I suppose if you were putting them on a darker nail, they'd probably show up better. If they're on a white background, they probably look a lot lighter. But yeah, I think these sort of ones will be alright on a darker nail. So I'll have to try them, see what they like. So that's the pack of five of those. Oh! Oh, we got some more butterfly stickers. <laughs> so I thought I just bought those two packs. No, it seems I found another pack that I wanted. <laughs> so we got these JO2306. Love these pink ones. Love those. And then we've got pink and purple. Not so keen on them. I think it was more these ones that I liked because they come in a pack of two. Yeah, I got those. You're probably going to be sick to death of butterfly designs from me. We've got a Christmas jumper stamping plate. Now, this is really cool. I love this. Inside the pack as well, I like this. You've got instructions, how to use it. That's really cool. I like that. And then this is the plate. Gin C M008. Love this. That is really smart. I love that. That's really cute. Oh, look at the little snowman one as well. I can't wait to try that and see what that's like. I really hope these plates print out really well. I'll probably do a video on them, actually. If anyone wants to see that, let me know in the comments and I shall do a video showing you whether they work or not. Right, last four items are chrome powders. So we've got these three individuals. I'm dying to try this black. I'm hoping it's going to be really, really opaque because that is going to save having to do two coats of a black gel polish. You're just going to have to put your top coat down and apply the black on top. So I can't wait to try that one. This one, on AliExpress, I saw there was a listed on there a couple of months ago 
for some neon chrome powder. So I've got the green in a single because then I've got the orange and the pink. It looks purple on there, but it is actually a bright, bright pink. And then we've got two shades of gold. So I'm hoping these are going to be the same sort of colour. So I think I'm going to give these a swatch and we'll see what they're like. So I'm just going to pull out some black swatch sticks. And then I want a clear one for the black and we'll see what the coverage is like on that black cream powder on a clear swatch stick. I'm going to get all these top coated and then I shall pop back in once that's done and we'll get some swatching done. So I think we're going to try this quad palette first. And we'll just try the, the golds first, see what they apply like. Mmm, that's a nice gold colour, I like that. Oh, sugar, I pressed the wrong one. You don't need a lot of that either, you know. I will give these all a top coat at the end, so you can have a proper look at them. But yeah, I like that. It's a nice colour, that. It's a kind of champagne-y gold. Nice. Oh, wow. That's a really nice colour as well. Is a bright orange I was hoping it wasn't gonna be a bronze but no it is definitely a bright orange well happy with that now we're on to this bright pink which I'm excited for Ooh, it looks bright I feel like you need more of the pink and orange than what you did the gold ones. Oh, that's a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. That is a beautiful colour, in fact. I like that. That's going to look even nicer once it's top coated. Hee <laughs> hee. So that is the palette all swatched. Now we'll take a look at the green. So this one is a loose powder. It's not a pressed powder. And these, I've used these before and you really do not need a lot, just really what's in the lid. Tiny bit goes a long, long way. I need to get these cream powders out so much more because I've got some beautiful colours of these now. And they're really nice to blend together as well to do ombres with. That is going to look so much brighter as well once it's top coated. I mean, it really doesn't like you getting a lot in there, does it? But they really do go a long way. I mean, look at that. I've literally used that tiny bit. Again, really, really beautiful colour. Right, and now we're going to try this black, guys. I'm dying to see what this one's like. Didn't even know they did a black chrome powder. Ah, yeah. Not as good as it's made out to be. 
definitely not. Now, see, crime powders need to really be applied over a black to get the the full effect of the colour. But obviously, applying this over a black defeats the object, doesn't it? So, um, yeah. <laughs> You see how sheer it is. Look, you see that? But yeah, if you wanted a sheer black, you could use it for that, I guess. See what it's like once it's top coated anyway. Right, so let's have a look at these now, shall we? So this is the palette. Got some really pretty colours there. So that's those. Then we've got the green one, which is that one. That's a really, really nice bright green, isn't it? Now I should have rubbed that chrome powder in a bit more before I top coated it. Can you see that powdery effect? That shouldn't be there, but that's just my application, guys. It's just where I've not rubbed it in fully. I should have gone over it and rubbed all that in, but it's a really really nice bright green isn't it i like it i'm really happy with these you know definitely need to get these out more often and then we've got this gorgeous pinky purple one yeah i like it it's a pretty color and next to that one they are very very similar but this one is more of a hot pink where this has got more of a purple tone to it very similar though, very similar colours. And then lastly, we've got black. So that's what it looks like over a clear. Let me show you it over something white. See, I've done two coats on there now, but it is still slightly translucent. Can you see that? But it is definitely a lot darker than what it was after one coat. So that's what it looks like over a clear. And then that's what it looks like on a, over a black. Mm, I guess it kind of does look chromey. To the eye, it actually looks more of a gunmetal colour. A very dark gunmetal colour. I wouldn't say so much black chrome. I can see it better there, look. Yeah. Can't see me using that one very often. But I really wanted to try it just to see what it was going to be like. I thought if I can save having to do two coats of black gel polish sometimes, then why not? But yeah, didn't quite work out to plan. So that's all the chrome powders. And that is everything for today's haul, guys. Like I said, I have just placed a second order. Hopefully that should be here as quick as this one arrived in six days, I'm hoping. If it is, then I shall make sure I get that video out straight away because I found some real bargains. Because I was kind of in a rush to get this order placed, I didn't have a proper look through. But now I've had a proper look through and yeah, I found some more real, real bargains. So I shall make sure I get that video out as soon as possible. So that's everything. What well, I got out my first Timu haul, guys. Some real bargains there, isn't there? Like I said, I'm going to leave the links to everything that I've showed you today in my description box below. Hopefully, they'll still have the offer on when you watch this, guys. So the prices are still going to be nice and cheap. And also, as well, there's no tax and it's free shipping at the minute as well. You do have to spend a minimum of £10, though. I will stress that. You get a lot for £10. Like, this come to just over £10 for all of this. Like, bargain. Bargains galore. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Especially if you want to see my second haul, you'll be notified when I upload that video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.